Hi, this is Nurse Cassandra. How can I help you today? Hi babes and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be walking you through how I got this undead nurse look. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. <sighs> I promise I do have a top on, okay? We'll start there. You guys, we are going to be transforming this classic nurse costume into a vampire nurse. I have no idea what I'm doing, we're just winging it, but I'm going to take you along the way as I figure it out. So, I think this costume is really cute, but I wanted something more spooky, like a little more undead sort of vibes. And I wanted to be able to play around with some makeup today. So this is the classic nurse costume. It comes with a dress, the hat, stethoscope, and the apron. And this guy was $30. And then I also bought some of the basic spirit halloween vampire fangs that we're going to apply today and i'm going to play a little bit with some scar wax and some makeup and let's see how undead we can look all right so i'm not going to get in there go my fangs i'm not going to get into the costume yet i am going to apply my makeup first and we are also testing out the house labs by lady gaga foundation i'm really excited to try this i got shade matched today this foundation was like 50 or 60 bucks, so it better be pretty good. Priming with the Milani Skin Quench Primer. It does say shake well. <laughs> this is looking kind of yellow, maybe. Hopefully once this dries down, it works for me. I think this is looking really nice on the skin though. And I do take this onto my eyelids as well because I'm lazy and I don't like to use primer for my eyelids. Okay, first impression, I'm loving this foundation. I'm gonna take the leftover from my hand and just apply that down my neck. So I'm not gonna set the face yet. I'm gonna go into my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Descendant Palette. And I have been really liking this shade Dead Like Me as like a cool toned sculpting color. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take like a fluffy, dense brush, dip into that cool toned brown color, and just draw some little quote unquote contour lines to kind of hollow out my face a little bit. Okay, so we've got our lines drawn. Now I'm going to go in with a dense, this is the e.l.f. contouring brush and just blend that harsh line out. And I like to blend this actually down my cheek, which I know is like opposite of what we've all been taught to do, but I feel like this just looks better on my face, personally. What I'm going for with this is, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I'm trying to kind of hollow out my face because I have a very full face and I feel like this look, I want it to look a little slightly sunken in. I'm gonna go back in, add a little bit more. So I'm going to go up and apply some by my temples and then on the bridge of my nose and blend that out the same way okay so now i'm going to add some blush i'm going into the lunatic cosmetic labs defaced palette and i am going to take the shade bloodlust which is this like shimmery pink here taking that on a stippling brush and applying this to the apples of my cheeks. I also like to apply a little of this above my eyebrow, like kind of near my temples, and then tap just a little bit on the bridge of the nose, and sometimes on the chin. 
I am a blushaholic, yes I am. Okay, so we are moving on to the eyes next. I'm just gonna do a really messy, smoky eye, like very messy. This does not need to look good <laughs> at all. So I'm going to go back into that Descendant palette and take that Sacred Space brown here, which is like a warmer brown, with a fluffy brush and literally just slap this all over my eyelid. I don't feel like this needs to look perfect at all. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that same dense brush that we used earlier for the contour, if you could call it that, and I'm gonna take that same Sacred Space Brown and I'm going to line my lower lash line all the way with this. And this, again, can also be very, very messy. Okay, now I'm just going to use my finger and blend that out. Okay. I'm very, very nervous for this next part. <laughs> this could ruin everything, and it might. So we are going to try to apply a big ol' scar right across my cheek. And I'm going to be using the Spirit Halloween Sculpting Wax. So let's get this guy out. So this is what it looks like. Okay, it says using an applicator, smear the wax over the skin. Should I maybe do it on my neck? Maybe I should do that in case I screw it up really bad. Okay, is this great? No, but is it as good as we're gonna get? Probably. Going back into that scar wax from Spirit. I'm gonna rub this between my fingers. Okay, so I applied my scar wax here. Okay, I feel like that looks better than what I did on my neck. Okay, so going to go back in with our blood, dipple this onto my cut. I think that definitely looks more real, but I probably shouldn't have put it right there. <laughs> okay, so I'm right, gonna take this sponge and go into some black here to try and make it look scabbed up. All right. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, back to the face. So I am going to attempt to add some bruising under my eyes. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution London palette. And I'm going to start with this red shade here. On a fluffy brush, I am going to apply this very gently to my under eyes. And I feel like I kinda of wanna focus this more on my inner corner and I don't want a lot on my brush when I'm doing this because I don't want it to be super pigmented. I feel like that looks good right there. Now taking that same brush, I am going to go into this spooky purple here and kind of deepen up the red, focusing this mostly on the inner corners here. <laughs> okay. Kind of closest to the bridge of my nose and then fluffing it out towards the under eye. I feel like looks fairly bruise-ish. All right, now I'm going to go in, same brush, and I'm gonna use this Everybody Scream Green. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. We're gonna go in with Bugs. This kind of darker green. I feel like that's more of a bruise green. And I'm just going to kind of pop this around the edges of our black eye here. These are shimmery, so these are <laughs> glamorous bruises or black eyes. And I'm gonna take that green and kind of blend it into this, that smoky eye, if you could call it that, <laughs> that we did earlier. I'm going to grab another tiny little brush, or I don't have a tiny little brush, so I'm using this little guy. And I'm going into that same Makeup Revolution palette, and I'm going to take this red Sandy Claws, and I'm going to pack some onto this little tiny brush, and I'm going to add veins to the under eye here. I'm just kind of dragging them down and randomly placing these veins here. So now, I'm gonna go into the eyebrows. This is a Wet n Wild brow pencil in dark brown. I'm gonna brush up the brows and fill them in like I normally would. 
Okay, next I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Clear Brow and Lash Mascara, which is like not so clear anymore because of this right here, double dipping. All right, I am going to set the face now, but we're not done yet. So I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. So this is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matter Lip Liner in the shade Wise, which is like a brownish color. I'm just going to line with this. And I also like to slightly fill in the lips as well with that brown color just to kind of help give that ombre look when I apply the red. So now I'm going in with the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl, which is a bright red. I should have sharpened this, there's like nothing here. Okay, I feel like that looks fine. I am kind of curious what it would look like with the gloss on, but we're gonna leave it that leave it at that for now. I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I can't find anything else on here. <laughs> the green one. And I'm just going to apply two coats of mascara and then one coat to the bottom lashes as well. If I had false lashes, this would be when I would apply them, but I do not have falsies, so we're skipping that. Next, I am going to use the Spirit Spl Spray, <laughs> rewind. Next, I'm going to use the Spirit Spray Blood. I'm like actually really scared to do this. <laughs> I don't wanna ruin anything around me, okay. That was kind of subtle. I feel like I need another one. Okay, ready? Maybe one more on this side of the face. Okay, wait. Why do I kind of like it though? I'm kind of liking it. Okay, hold on. I am going to go back in with this Vampire Blood from Spirit. And I am going to put some of this on the back of my hand and then literally use my finger and just like let it drip. Here we go. Maybe like a smudge. Okay, that's cute. This looks like real blood the way it's like wet. <laughs> that made me sound really stupid, I know. I feel like I want it to drip more, like it's dripping on my hand. Hold on. Oh God, that was way too much. Oh no. I probably should not have worn a white shirt, huh? Okay, okay, hold on, oh, I don't know what to grab. Now we're going to try and add my fangs, okay? So these are the Spirit Halloween fangs. I think I just got like some basic ones. Why is this also so hard to open? What the freak? I just broke my nail. Are you serious? I have to boil water to put these on? Absolutely freaking not. That's so stupid, dude. They come in this cute little coffin case though. How cute is that? They're cute though. <laughs> All right. I don't know, I might not use the fangs. This is so complicated. I should've just bought the stupid plastic fangs. The show must go on. I feel like the face is done. Now I just need to get my outfit on. So, give me a second. <sighs> this is Nurse Cassandra reporting for duty. <laughs> Okay, listen y'all. This Spirit Halloween costume is in a size up. And let me tell you, had I gotten my original size, this thing would be showing full cheeks. So, just keep that in mind. Okay. What do we think? Is this a sleigh or an A? <laughs> you guys, when I tell you my butt cheeks are so close to being showing, I mean it. I have these really cute little heels on don't really know how to show you can you see them hold on let me get closer ta-da okay so face can you see my little i didn't nail it with the scars <laughs> but i would wear this to a halloween party i bought these thigh highs they did not come with the costume so the costume was just the dress the apron stethoscope 
and the hat and my hat didn't come with like a headband or like a strap so I just had to bobby pin it down but I feel like that looks fine you know I don't know I kind of think this is a vibe little undead nurse moment hi this is nurse Cassandra how can I help you today okay what seems to be the issue today what's bringing you into my office <laughs> sounding like I'm a doctor I'm a nurse can we have a moment for the hat cute cute can we just pretend I put my fangs in hold on here we go <laughs> here we go <laughs> I can't even talk with these things in my mouth. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a good thing I didn't go with the fangs because <laughs> I can't even talk with them in. Yeah, we're just going with undead nurse, okay? Okay. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments, please. Or what you would have done differently. Well, my spooky babes, I think that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and leave me a comment and say hi in the comments because I love talking to you. Please subscribe to join our coven. We do spooky stuff all year round over here. I love you and I'll see you in the next video super, super soon. Bye-bye, spooky babes.